Get ready for one of the biggest episodes of the LOZ Featured Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. Maybe you've heard of Michael Doc Jansen, world-renowned spinal surgeon across the United States. He's been kind enough to welcome us to his beautiful estate. We got the incredible doc, incredible house, and he's gonna be coming down in just a minute to meet with us and tell us a little bit about his lake history, show off some of these incredible toys, and give us a ride maybe on one of these boats. Get ready for this edition of the LOZ Featured Doc Series. JR here, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. How about a custom dock at the lake house of your dreams right here in the beautiful villages at Shawnee Bend? Or maybe even your own slip at the iconic Topsider condos in the heart of Osage Beach. Whatever your lake dream, I can make it a reality. But that can wait, because it's time for another edition of the LOZ Featured Doc Series on Lake TV. What's up, Doc? That's great seeing you. Thanks right after the 4th everybody. of July. How are you? Doing well. Hello, man. Thanks for having That's us. Great. Tony got me set all up with a jersey. Now you're part of the team. Doc Jansen here to welcome us. Man, just incredible. We're going to dig right in, talk a little bit about how did we get to this point right here. My parents uh, brought us down to the lake when I was about five, and we lived in Mill Creek up near Coconuts on the way up there. And my dad had a wooden sentry boat. Um, you know, you had to varnish it all the time and take care of it. And so we kind of grew up coming to the lake when I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. And then we continued to spend all of our family vacations here, all of them, at two, three weeks every summer. And then in about the late 70s or so, my parents bought a home just around the corner. And then when I uh, went to medical school, my wife and I got really interested and we met in medical school in Kansas City. And we bought this property and we started building on it and adding the boats and the race team and everything from that. I used all of the passion my dad taught me about yeah. boating to my kids and to boat racing and gave them all opportunities to enjoy the same thing that uh, I was uh, blessed with when my father turned us on to the sport at Lake of the Ozarks. Man, I'm telling you, today is going to be a treat because I've been wanting to get out here and see this place since we first met a handful of years ago. This guy's also a shootout Hall of Famer. We could talk about your boating accolades for days and days, but what I want to do is head down to the dock, check out all the incredible features, some of the toys, and hey, maybe you'll even take us out in one of these go-fast boats. I'll even let you drive. Let's go, baby. All right, so now that we're down here on the dock, I just see incredible toys all around us. But first, I gotta find out how old's the dock and who built it. This dock was built by Sunrise Dock Company probably 15 years ago. I like to do things local, and we're in Sunrise Beach, and they did just an amazing job. And this is not your typical dock. Your design here and what your thought process was with the pool, talk us through a little bit of why your dock looks this way. I decided that this would be the best for this property. Rather than us putting a kitchen and a tiki bar or something relaxing on the dock, we're gonna just tie it in so close to the dock on the shore, which gives us the greatest view to look at all the boats that come by, and then at the same time have all the boats tucked away here. I personally like a dock that doesn't have a lot of height to it, so when these lifts are up, the boats are very well protected because they're very close to the roof. Yeah, I noticed that you've even got the wave breaks with uh, a big jump platform. Uh, you get a lot of people over here for parties and stuff? Frequently. And the wave breaks are made by modular concrete docks. They do a fantastic job. They've been floating for quite a while. We had them designed with a hinge in them so that they could flex when the water goes down. We put the big ladder on the top for everybody to do high dives. It's like 45 feet right there, so it's no problem. Yeah, I also notice here, a couple of different walkways you've got, which is great. And then when I get down and look at the boats, 
these lifts with these uh, platforms all around the boats are just incredible. Well, that allows us to actually wash the boat. So when the boat's all the way up, you know, last thing you want is for someone to fall trying to wash and wax the boat. But this actually works fantastic to be able to have a walkway to go all the way around. Uh, those are built by Polylift. The key I like with these is when the lift comes up, the boat goes back. So we pull the boats all the way forward and they match perfectly like putting your foot into a shoe. Each of those match the bottom of those boats perfect. It comes, lifts the boat up, boat's protected, go back up and uh, to the pool and do some exercise. Speaking of boating, now we got a lot going on here. Uh, I see we got the ski boat, we've got the racing boat, we've got the center console, but I noticed the old classic over there. So let's take a deeper dive look at some of these boats. Can we go over and uh, tell the story of that guy? Sure, let's go take a look at it. Coming up on the LOZ Featured Dock Series, presented by Lake Ozark Real Estate. What are the chances you take my camera guy out for uh, a little spin? After this. As you dream of your lake life, I invite you to dream bigger. Top Cider Condos, the coolest place to live at the lake. So what do you think? Your dream of living in luxury at Lake of the Ozarks could be but one phone call away. I wouldn't wait. Top Cider. Your time at the lake is limited, and at Surdike Yamaha, we understand that. That's why we offer boat and wave runner rentals at two convenient locations, fueled up shine and ready to ride. Whether you need a tri-tune for your group, a ski boat for the family, or a couple Yamaha wave runners to ride the waves, Surdike Yamaha is ready and waiting for you. See the Lake of the Ozarks with a rental from Surdike Yamaha. Book online now at surdikeboatrental.com. It's lake season, and that means fun on the water at the Lake of the Ozarks. But that also means it's bug, spider, and cobweb season. And Aquapest Solutions can get you ready for the season. Specializing in boat dock and pest control services, we can cover your dock, your yard, your home, and business too. So let our team at Aquapest Solutions do the job for you. Our treatments are eco-friendly and approved to spray over the water. So let's get rid of what's bugging you. Aquapest Solutions. Give us a call or visit us online to find out more. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We got time for build boat lifts. We build Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Exclusive lake luxury is hard to come by nowadays, but that's exactly what's available at the Villages at Shawnee Bend. Whatever your lake dream, the Villages can make it a reality. Stake the claim to your lake paradise in the lake's premier luxury home development, the Villages at Shawnee Bend. Wow, check this old classic out. 1973, tell us the story behind this, Doc. Well, my father passed away a couple years ago and he bought this boat from Lynx Landing here at Lake of the Ozarks. Lynx Landing was the Century boat dealer directly across where Dog Days is, so the other side of the bridge. So it's a 1973 hardtop Century Coronado. Coronado was the model. He has two of these boats before he passed away and I put in my mission to keep them in the family and completely go through the boat to make it look like it was brand new when it came off the floor in 1973. Looks un 
unbelievable and obviously such a special vessel to yeah. you and to have it up and running. My dad was super excited. He saved really a lot to uh, work and buy these boats and I said, I'm gonna keep it in the family and they are perfect. All right, so we gotta check out the first couple of boats before we talk about the big dogs over here. I noticed you got wet steps everywhere around the dock. You can get back on the dock or on the wave breaks just about anywhere. They're fantastic. It's a great company. They're all powder coated. They matched everything on the dock. Not just that, you got a couple of skis, couple of stand up paddle boards, and one of your walkways is just steps to get out of the water. That's pretty sweet. Who did that? The modular concrete docks put that together, and I use that so when we have our dogs down here, they can walk right down to the water, or when you come back from paddle boarding, you can walk right up. Very cool. All right, so now I see the big center console. Tell us about this boat. This thing is unbelievable. I got to work with Reggie Fountain when I raced boats for Fountain Power Boats, and we built them. And Reggie built this boat for me with Brian Forehand in about 2008. Um, and center consoles were not very popular at the Ozarks at that time. They, everybody just thought they were a fishing boat, and they kind of didn't really belong here. They kind of belonged in saltwater. I thought it was a perfect family boat to go to dinner, to put a lot of people in, be incredibly safe, and with all of the current technology of outboards, they run 70 plus miles an hour, and now probably triple digits in some of them. What are the horsepower you're working with on this guy? And this has got uh, an, a three 300 horsepower, so it's got 900 horsepower. About two years ago, we updated the entire upholstery, waves and wheels, designed it and stitched everything, and just tied the whole boat together to really just make it look new and fresh, and that it didn't look like just like a fishing boat. Now, the one I love, Doc, this guy over here, and I've seen this in the shootout, I've seen this Outer Limits. Talk to us about, this is probably your real baby, right? This is my dream to, of a boat that I could have never dreamed of owning years ago. Um, it was built by the late Mike Fiore who owned Outer Limits. It's a 53 foot carbon fiber boat. It has five seats in it, and it has air conditioning, and it has incredible mercury power. It's called either a 1350 or 1550. So with just a change of the key and the fuel, you can now change the horsepower from 1350 per motor to 1550, adds an extra 400 horsepower and probably another 400 plus RPMs. This is putting over 3000 horsepower up. I go through this like a pilot does with an airplane and actually look through the whole motor hatch before I ever start up every day. But it's just flawless. Just so beautiful and you stayed true to the colors even inside the engine compartment. Talk about the paint job on this Outer Limits Beauty. So this one I wanted to kind of put together with a lot of the yellow and silver and black and not just make it a theme, but just bring all of those colors together so that it doesn't look old in five and 10 years. And this one here sets the test up. It's got so much going on with a very complex paint job. I just love it. I, I hate to ask, but what are the chances you take my camera guy out for uh, a little spin. No problem, why don't we lower the hatch, we'll get in the boat, we'll take it for a ride, and if you feel comfortable, we'll uh, let you uh, drive it. Let's do it, baby. All right, let's go. Holy crud, so up to today, the fastest I had ever ridden or driven a boat was about 100, and I think we topped that today. Thank you for having us, showing us your beautiful dock, your beautiful home, and taking us for a ride. I mean, what a day. It was fantastic. Now it's time to go play some pickleball. All right, sounds like a plan. That's gonna wrap up this edition of the LOZ Feature Dock Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. For Doc Jansen, I'm William Holtz. We'll catch you next time.